So the inspiration for today's video is twofold. One, we wanted to build a PC for Luke at his new job at Floatplane Media Inc. that really reflects the values of that company, which is fly or float. So we obtained this literal, actual float plane. And then source of inspiration number two was actually a video that I did a little while ago, uh, building a PC inside one of Lee and Lee's cases that looks like a boat. The only problem with that case was that when I tried to actually float it, the thing sank. And I was like, you know what? No, 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 no. Linus Media Group can do better than Lee and Lee. Linus Media Group's airplane PC is actually gonna freaking fly. So I tasked Alex here, resident engineering wizard, who I never give enough time, money, or tools to, with coming up with a flyable float plane PC. And that's exactly what he theoretically did. We're about to find out. Kano is excited to introduce the Hex Gears X1 keyboard, a low profile Bluetooth mechanical keyboard with multi device connectivity and a beautifully machined aluminum case. Check it out at the link below. Inside my Beaver, you're going to find my cockpit, and then there's actually two passenger seats back there. So we're going to rip that out and throw in. It's got to be at least probably like a pound worth of heat sink and RAM, M.2 SSD. Uh, I think this is probably a Core i7 processor. Should be good, should be good. Before installing the computer in it, we needed to assemble and fly the plane. This would allow for us to make sure that there were no issues with the aircraft before we modified it, but also meant that Linus would need to take off and land without destroying it. Like it's been years since I've flown a model airplane at all. I have never flown anything this big and I have never even spent any sim time with a water plane. Do you want to? Um, that probably wouldn't be a terrible idea, but let's, let's get it, let's yeah. get it assembled. Let's with... build it. Given this is a ready to fly kit, assembly should be a pretty simple case of following the instructions. Although it quickly became clear that there were two problems. One, bad instructions. Is this diagram clear to you how exactly these little wire doodads go in here? No, it goes cross, uh, no, it goes, it goes straight to the big hole, but then I can't tell how you fasten it. And two, people not reading those bad instructions. You have to go through the wood on this. It's a pain. It says remove plate, so probably not. Oh. It's very clearly labeled, actually. <laughs> All right, landing gear wheels on. Seems pretty legit. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if it'll be able to handle coming down about as hard as it's going to. <laughs> Seems pretty strong. Oh, I'm ready for insertion whenever you are. Uh, I've got I've got three fingers in it now, but it, okay, it just hold on. doesn't. Let me get my budge. fingers in too. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Where? What do you mean? Where shown? Where's the picture of the Velcro? Right there. Where? As our lack of both RC knowledge and building ability became more clear, so did the realization that this plane may not survive its maiden voyage. This is gonna be such a waste of money if we just like plow it into the ground. <laughs> we soldiered on though, completing the build in what, thanks to the beauty of video editing, was record time. Maybe we could lube it up a little bit. Cool, so here, you push it in, I'll line it up. Okay. There we go. I'm excited. We're getting close to our first flight. Yeah. Before flying though, Linus wanted to try his hand in the flight sim to brush up on his RC skills. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nice. That was sketchy. That was, wow. Okay, we're coming in. We're coming in. Dennis, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> No, no, we're not coming in. We're not coming in. <laughs> get that propeller going there. <laughs> no, no, just wait, just wait. It's not gonna stall. I got this. I got this. Come on in, baby. Come on in. <laughs> no, we lost a wheel. We sheared off a, 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 a bolt here. And uh, so all we gotta do is, is find a new, a new mount for this wheel. 
Holy crap, we lived through it! <laughs> oh. Chapter 2 Before putting the PC in the plane, it needed a good coating of acrylic conformal coating from MG Chemicals. This would prevent the PC from getting damaged by small drops of water that might end up on it during water takeoffs and landings. With that said, it doesn't make the PC completely waterproof. This is like, not even, it's more conformal coating than PCB now. It's like swimming in it. I mean, you can't swim in a solid, but you get my point. They said to do three coats, that's three coats. Look at these, they look so beautiful. They're, so shiny. It's like plastic <laughs> ram. And they still smell like nail polish. Yeah, we gotta test it with the system in it. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah, we gotta get the, oh wait, right, test the system. Does the system work? Testing the system gave me the opportunity I've been waiting for. So you, you can see here, my friends, the uh, Test Cart 9000 has a convenient keyboard and mouse right in an ergonomic keyboarding mousing location. It's got a HDMI and VGA monitor, so you cover all your bases there. Huh? It's got a mouse pad for your comfort. It's got one of these little, uh, ah, uh, who makes these again? Moss Cable. It's got one of these little magnetic cable holders. See that test cart technology? Grab your USBs, because they're conveniently magnetically cable managed. I don't know. I thought from Lewis Rossman all that you need to know is that the fan spins. No. And the fan isn't spinning, so let's go ahead and press the power button there. Uh, uh. Did uh. you break the knuck? Oh wait, no, I think it just lit up. Okay, cool. Now that we knew that nothing crucial got covered in conformal coating, we were ready to put the PC in the plane. How do we get our PC in there? So in the back seat. Yeah, it's like in the back seat. That's really gonna hurt our center of gravity there. Yeah, we'd need to put some like weights or something up in here. Oh, now we're putting weights in the thing? Yeah. This thing was hard enough to fly in the first place. Although we were technically able to get the PC in through the front window, it was very difficult to access, so we needed to create a bigger opening. Scalpel. Thank you for not putting the blade into my finger. There's something. That's good. Oh, this is much sharper. Because the blade is thin, it's actually harder to cut in a straight line, though. I guess when you're cutting bodies, it's less of a concern that you go in a straight line, maybe? Oh, no problem. Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Good news is our system fits. Bad news is the IO does not stick out the door. The PC fit in surprisingly well, meaning we could skip having any IO extensions and instead just drill some holes in the side of the plane for USB, ethernet, and Thunderbolt. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh. Okay. We good? Yeah, it came out clean. Perfect. Nice. Oh, crap! So there's the pontoon mount. I was trying to widen the hole slowly and just rip the whole thing out. Shoot. To keep the PC in one place, we decided that the best option was to put zip ties down through the PCB, attach a washer on the other side, then use another zip tie to tighten it down. After installation in its super cool new case, we just needed to make sure that the PC had survived the operation. What could we have possibly broken over the last little bit here? Uh -huh. Yes! Woo! Oh, okay. Had me freaking out a little bit there. Let's see if the Wi-Fi still works. Wi-Fi is still working, so we managed to not unplug that crap. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, all right. The first flying computer! Other than all the other flying computers! Can you, can you see it in there? Here. Oh, it's coming for you! <laughs> can you see it? See the computer in there? Yeah. Well, you can see the I.O., I don't know. You can kind of see it. It's kind of hard to see, actually. Yeah, whatever, it's in there, trust me. Okay. I don't want to mess it. Oh, that gust. Let's just go for it. We're up and away! Oh my god, the weight! The weight, the balance is, uh, is way off. You want to fly by? I'll give you a fly by. Woo! You know what? I was actually probably wrong to make those adjustments to the uh, elevator. 
Never mind, I was right to make those adjustments to the elevator. That just saved us. Come on, baby. No. Oh, crap. Okay, well, um, that wasn't what I meant to do. I was trying to bring it over to the road and the wind just pushed me right. <laughs> This was actually my backup plan in case I lost confidence and I didn't want, but I was gonna do it on that side where they're kind of taller. So, wow. Seems totally fine. Yeah. I don't think we took any damage coming into the grass there. Cause like I said, I had already cut the power. If you see the flies. Hell yeah, brother. They said it couldn't be done. Wait, who was the one who said it couldn't be done? That was us, wasn't it? Uh, Luke seems to be on to us. I called him and said we needed to meet tomorrow for a video thing. And maybe it was, I said, the fact that I said it was float plane related, maybe he put two and two together, but he's like, oh, is it that plane that's in the office? So oh. I lied to him. I said, no, it's not. So we're going to have to be like, <laughs> ha ha, yes, it was, got you. So it's last minute preparation time. We have finally mounted the pontoons making it properly a float plane. Can I hold it up for a second? What are, are, you, are you guys good? Can I just hold it up for a second? Yep. Oh, look at it go. Uh, and we're doing some last minute prep while Luke waits for us upstairs. So we're trying to get a GoPro mounted inside the cockpit, which would be super cool. Like actually looking out through the cockpit. And then Alex is trying to figure out the, uh, the servos and rubber bands and whatnot that, uh, we need to hook up here. We lied to you! So I did call it? Ha ha, yes it was. Shut up. <laughs> we made a working float plane. It flies. It does fly, really. Of course it flies. And there's this is Linus Tech there. Tips and, and there is a full quad core machine with M.2 SSD, 32 gigs of RAM <laughs> and Thunderbolt 3. Inside. That's amazing. Functioning computer, functioning plane. Want to go fly it? Yes. All right, let's go. Yeah. So he went into the warehouse to borrow a speaker for a wedding. Yeah. Like a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. And he saw the plane. <laughs> After all those and weeks. I even, I even stopped at it. It was like, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> I wonder what that's for. Who's working on this? And the stupid thing is that I thought I was being so clever telling you it's float plane related. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know we just gave this to you, but there's a very good chance that it will not survive the day. I have never done a water takeoff or landing, and I have only even successfully landed a plane sort of once. Should we just go for it or what? The, uh, the water's really still. It's nice that all these trees are around here. Yeah. There's one duck that's kind of in the way there. Should I kind of wait for him to yeah, maybe. get out of there? You could probably turn that way. Yeah, I want to take off directly yeah, away from me though, just because it's a little easier bring it back. to control. Well, sure. Going that way, so you might want to it okay. That'd be harder. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's got to run. You know away. what? Let's just do it. Ooh. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> All righty then. Oh wow, this is actually, this is a very small pond. This is a much smaller park than I had last time. It is gusty. It is gusty today. If there was any doubt that it's gusty, let me set your mind at ease about that. Whoa. Oh, there's some chop! There's some chop in the air! No, no, I'm not that low, it's okay. Oh, the wind just picked me right up there. Did you guys see that? That was not me on the elevator. Oh, wow. Okay, it's coming in. Coming in. Not the smoothest landing of all time. <laughs> shut up, shut up.
The Mastrop XAKG K7XX Red Edition Open Back Headphones feature its predecessor's legendary sound and build quality, which made it a big hit with the audiophile community, and some improvements. So the highs are getting boosted by an innovative flat wire voice coil, mids are getting brought up to better balance the range, and the lows were raised by three decibels for a more immersive sound. This was a collaborative design with Mastrop and AKG, and includes a custom ruby red colorway to help the aesthetic really pop from the competition. It features a 10 foot detachable cable, and you can check it out now at the link in the video description. So there you have it. The world's first float plane. No, no, it's yours. It's yours. The world's first float plane PC for a COO of float plane. Heck yeah. Now let's make sure the computer still works at some point. But I'm, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We just, we just tested it before we came out. Yeah. No, I, honestly, I don't, I don't even think so. Yeah, we got that. I'm glad we put the tape on, though. I'm really glad we put the tape on. So guys. If you dislike this video, you go oh right, go subscribe over on Floatplane. Go yeah. go support Linus Tech Tips, or actually we got tech deals and Bitwit over there as well. Uh, if you guys dislike this video, you can hit that button. If you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Like a Floatplane membership, one week early access to Linus Media Group content, also those other creators I mentioned. Also, while you're down there, you can check out our merch store, cool shirts like this one, and our community forum. It's great. You should totally join it. Yay. You saw it here first, folks. <laughs> Flying computers! Yeah!